What's up and welcome to Filament TV Reviews. I'm your host Grant Burton. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at the underscore Grant Burton. Or you can go and subscribe, click the bell to be notified when I post new content, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment and some feedback down below, let me know what you like and dislike, but don't be too harsh, you know, that doesn't help. Today I am reviewing BoJack Horseman Season 5, and let me start by saying that BoJack Horseman Season 5 is by far the best season of the show so far. Yep, this is a really good show. It's an animated comedy, or at least it was. That's one of the big points I want to get through on this review. Bojack Horseman has transcended that. Yes, it's still animated. Yes, it's still a comedy. It's still funny. But it's now much more of a drama. And it's much better because of that. It's filled with really likeable characters, really flawed characters. So you can relate to them. You understand them. And you want them to do well, but you know it's not going to end well for the majority of them. And... It's tackling some really big, deep, topical issues. So it's going in talking about adoption, mental health, depression, there's a sexual harassment storyline in there. It's really doing this in a smart and well done, well paced way. So it's hinting at things early on in the season. For example, you see Bojack taking these drugs or medication as suggested. But you don't really know what they are, and then you just see him every now and then taking them as the series progresses. And it's not until later on that you actually start to notice how much of them he's taken, and that it's becoming a problem and it's affecting him. So it's really well done that way on. And of course this show is still really funny. The comedy in this show now is used for levity. It makes the bigger topics more palatable and accessible, because this would be a really tough, hard watch if it didn't have the comedy in there. And while we're talking about the comedy, let's talk about the funniest moments in this show. I don't want to get too much into spoilers, but just be wary, there might be some spoilers here. So this season, Bojack is filming a new TV show called Filbert, and it's a stereotypical dark detective drama filled with twists and turns, very noirish, and Bojack Horseman, a satirical show, so it's taken the mick out of this genre. And it does it brilliantly. It's so bonkers and ridiculous, this TV show that he's making. One minute he's talking all nostalgic and dramatic about his wife and his past. And it's all very dark and serious. Next thing you know, he's strangling his wife. Next thing you know, he's like talking about a submarine that somehow belonged to the mayor of Los Angeles, which is ridiculous. And then all of a sudden there's nuclear missiles involved. Yeah, it's really well done, and this isn't even the main storyline, by the way. This is very much like a side story that's going on. Another thing that's going on is Todd, the character played by Aaron Paul, builds a sex robot. And again, this is ridiculous and bonkers, but this is by far the most hilarious thing in this season. Everything the sex rob robot does and says is brilliant, and it's really well done. And it actually comes to a pretty emotional end, and I'm a little surprised by that. But yeah. What else have I got written down on my notes? So, the animation. The I'm not an expert on animation, so I'm not going to dwell on this too much. But what I really like about Bojack is it's very colourful, very bright. And when they're talking about the serious stuff, there's always something going on in the background. So it, there's never nothing of interest or nothing funny there. If you pay attention, you're going to see something funny. And it could just be like a character walking by or someone in the background doing something that you maybe didn't realise at first. It's really well done. And it's not often you actually see comedies do this sort of thing anymore. It's usually the spoofs like Airplane or Scary Movie that does this sort of thing. So what I really like about the season is it makes you think. I've talked about the big dramatic topics. I'm not going to go into that again. But... Yeah, I really like how Bojack Horseman has progressed into a big serious drama. The voice acting, Will Arnett is brilliant as Bojack. I think this season he should get an Emmy Award for his portrayal here. There's one episode where he's delivering a eulogy, and it's not by any means the most original episode. You can see the twist coming a mile off, but it's literally just him, 25 minutes talking. Nobody else says a word. And it's just constant speech by him. I'm not sure if he recorded it all at once. I suspect he didn't. But 
yeah, you really do get care about these characters because the portrayal and the acting is so good. So yeah, BoJack Horseman Season 5, best show, best season of this show so far. I really liked it. If you haven't watched the show yet, I'd suggest you give it a go. It's on Netflix. The first couple of seasons are a little rough in places, but as it progresses, it has gotten much, much better to the point where this could be one of the best animated shows on TV right now. But that's my review. I really liked it in short. And if you liked what you've seen here, leave a comment down below. Give me some feedback. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Click the bell to be notified when I post new content. This is Filama TV News Reviews. I'm Grant Burton and I'm out. Thanks for watching.